truly not. I'm happy to never see a housewife out in the wild. But I almost ran into them. Can you fucking believe this? Can you fucking believe this shit? I almost pissed my pants and shit the bed when I saw this on her Instagram. We'll see. It's happening here. I get so riled up with Jersey. I'm the same David that's about to talk about Vanderpump Rules. And I already feel more relaxed. Katie was just on Watch What Happens. And I just found her chat so interesting. She says that she says she never liked Jax. She doesn't like Jax. And she's grown apart from Brittany because she just doesn't like that man. And he is not good for Brittany and good for her. Good for her for finally like standing strong and leaving. I just want to know if Katie knows it's all fake and it's all for the Valley or if she actually believes this like drama between the two of them. I'll never believe it. It seems too convenient for me. It really does. And Lisa Vanderpump is doing interviews. Yeah, she probably gets a percentage. Okay. Honestly. Then she talks about Sandoval's apology. She says they're just words. Save them. They're just words, save them. I mean, what did Sandoval think? It's never gonna, he's never gonna get Katie back. It's not gonna happen. Joe, she said Joe, because she knows she came out hard about Joe, who we all know I don't like Joe. She said, yeah, after watching the show back, she thinks Joe and Schwartzy deserve each other. Well, I think they do. He has a new girlfriend, Sophia Skolos who's 23, and Katie said, I already told him that if you're 23, that's who you play around and diddle with. You don't date the 23-year-olds. Advice from Katie. Hello, Katie. Hi, Katie Maloney. Something is just in here, and it's regarding, I mean... Oh, I mean, we already knew this. Larsa and Marcus Jordan split. Okay, enough already. Does anyone fucking care? I truly don't care. Just leave it. But something is popping up here about Frankel. Bethany Frankel is slammed. Oh, Bethany Frankel slammed for buying phallic dessert with teenage daughter. Brynn as fans react. I mean, is this really? This is what's popping up here in real time. So I'm sorry to waste your guys' time with this. Oh, God, who the fuck wrote this? Okay. She was called out for her dieting. Right. She said, try everything. Out of the diet. By the way, I'm trying Prolon. You guys have to try Prolon. I'll put, if you want my code, I'll share it with you. You get 10% off. This isn't an ad. I'm truly trying it. It's a five-day fast. And when you get it, this is why I love it. Each thing is in a box. So you open it, it says day one, day two, and you don't fast. You, you're you not eating a steak dinner or you're not eating a chicken palm or a pepperoni pizza, but you do eat and it's not a diet, it's science, which I know sounds like a tagline, but it's true. It tricks your body into thinking that it's fasting. So I'm starting this. I started it. And it's going well. Prolon, I really do highly recommend it, but I'm not finished with the five-day program. But when when and I'm drinking coffee, I saw something about whether you should be drinking coffee or not. I don't give a fuck. I'm not giving up coffee because I couldn't do this job. And the bottom line is um, I'm not drinking during it. So obviously the night I went out yesterday with Teresa, and almost ran into her. I did drink, but today's a new day and we started it. So if anyone wants a five-day cleanse, they say you're supposed to do it three times a year and you're not hungry. It tricks your body into thinking you're fasting. And listen, if this leans me out, which it seems to be doing already, I'm uh, sticking with it. So prolong. Anyway, that wasn't an ad. We just slipped into it. But Katie says you did all around with the young ones. Okay, wow. Um, I saw Bethany's dessert. It is phallic. All right, she's teaching the kid about phallic stuff early on. I'm not that worried. I was raised, I mean, I guess you could say I've turned out totally fucking psychotic and fucked up, but I've been raised uh, just to, you know, I've been raised to just, um, you know, let it all hang out. So I don't think a phallic thing for someone at Burns age, it just, it is what it is. The world's a crazy fucked up place. Just expose people to things at an early age and let the chips fall where they may. I know, I know you'll all come hate me. Bad parenting advice. 
Good news, I'm never going to have a fucking child, so don't worry about it. Um, Sandoval, you know, we have learned that he is, you know, mourning the loss of Rachel. And it really just made everyone say, you are more upset about losing Rachel than you are about Ariana. That's kind of weird. Apparently at the reunion, the word is they sat down and they talked about things. The Vanderpump reunion, they did not yell. Oh, you know what we forgot to talk about? The end of the trailer where Fuda calls uh, Trey a bully and we see the scene apparently where Cabral and Aiden got fired. So I find that interesting. You guys all have come for Cabral. For anyone who doesn't know, the tree hugger accounts call Cabral, Danielle Cabral, Faniel, which I guess is for fake, like she's fake now. I don't know. I, 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 I get it. I'm keeping my eye on Fuda. I'm keeping my eye on Cabral. Again, the one I think I'm really ingratiated toward, except you know I love Jackie. Jennifer's a good girl. I'm ingratiated to Messler. I want to see the Messler. I'm more interested in Fessler than I am in Cabral or Fuda. So I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to keep an open mind. But yeah, Cabral, shtick, you know, I think she's going to have a hard season. So those are my reactions to the trailer. Christine Quinn from Selling Sunset, her husband was arrested for domestic violence. I watched The Valley. I'll still watch it, I guess. You guys want me to cover it? You're going to make me watch it. Didn't love it, but it was okay. Um, no R-H-O-M. No R-H-O-M. Nope, 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 nope. The producers came out and said, we're casting and starting. We're not starting right away. We are pausing. It was only 500,000 that were watching it. So I don't care what anybody says. There's no RHOM filming right away. Atlanta, we still don't have. New York, we still don't have. I don't care. Every time I say this, someone says, New York's going to announce any day. Great. That is great. I don't care if they announce between now, which is Wednesday night and Saturday morning when you're hearing this. The point is, there was a long gap in bringing back New York. There's a long gap in bringing back Atlanta. New York, we, we're bringing everyone back, so there's no reason for that. We just wanted to slow it down. Atlanta's a mess. Potomac ain't coming back right away. There's going to be a pause. RHOM, there's, it, it already ended. It ain't coming back right away. Just Beverly Hills, I think Vanderpump will just come back. This is the new normal. So you are going to be waiting a long time for all of your franchises in between franchises. Salt Lake is the exception only thanks to Monica Garcia and everyone being so heated up and Beverly Hills because it's Beverly Hills with the highest ratings of all and probably Vanderpump. We're in a new world. We have to adjust. I don't make the rules, guys. I don't make the rules. I'm sorry for everyone out there. It gives Mama, it gives Mama David a minute to get some sleep. Still doing as many ep episodes a week. Look, we will always have something to cover here behind the velvet rope. I will never leave you guys. When I die at the microphone, I will leave you. And I need to have a plan because we have so many episodes recorded that I have to get out. Not so many. It's really getting down. But I'll put Sarah Fraser in charge. She'll have a plan to get out the episodes while I'm dead. And you'll probably have another six months-ish, three months, probably three months of me. And you can mourn the loss. And then Sarah, she always jokes about what she's going to get in my will. She can get the podcast. Then she could just put out repeats that are lost on the back feed. And Sarah can have a whole job and make money off my self, who will be buried. I'll die at the microphone. I'm not leaving you until then. Jersey, Jersey, Jersey. It's April, guys. I mean, so it's, well, it's March, but it's not coming until May. So 